Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. Today I thought we'd have some fun with summer just around the corner for most of us, please, please, please. Um, I thought I would share with you ways to protect your skin, your hair, and your eyes. And that would be with hats, sunglasses, and sunscreen. So, and we still want to look chic while we're doing it. And this of course is much fancier than most of the hats I have, but I thought I would just um, share it with you anyway. I absolutely love a wide brimmed hat. And I am a person that if I'm outside, I am under a hat. It doesn't mean it matter if I'm reading or if I'm gardening, whatever. I have, I do have different hats for different things. So today I thought we would just start out with this one. I just purchased this at Macy's and this is a Betsy Johnson straw wide brimmed hat. I just thought it was fabulous. There is another one that I'm ordering that is the same shape, but it has a huge orchid sitting here instead of uh, a bunch of flowers all the way around. So this is just a nice wide brimmed hat. I mean, if you're somebody who has the occasion to wear a beautiful hat like this, I just think this one is stunning again. And it was not that expensive. Macy's is running a, the hair is not going to be lovely because in order to get a hat on, my hair must be pulled back like this. But this is the Betsy Johnson and this hat was $48 with an extra 30% off. So the hat really was not expensive. It is just gorgeous and it does have a little lining so it's not uncomfortable around your forehead with the straw hitting it. And again, this is the Betsy Johnson and this hat was made for Macy's. So you won't find this anywhere but Macy's. I have linked it below for you and take a look at the orchid one that I've also linked. Now my sunglasses. It is important that when you're buying sunglasses it says 100% protection from the sun, 100%. This is a very old pair of Bulgari sunglasses I have. And I don't wear these that much. Uh, I wear them on a fancier occasion because they all, they do have a bunch of Swarovski crystal on the side. But I thought I would show them because we are all very different. And you can still, you can't get this particular style because I've probably had this for over probably 12 years, but they do still make similar ones and you can find a lot of these on eBay and Amazon. So um, I will put links below to some that are similar for this, but they're just really pretty. You know, you could wear a top knot with this, even if you're not a hat person, but uh, just thought this, these glasses were beautiful when I saw them years ago and I still wear them. Not as much as I wear everything else. These do tend, they just lay on my cheeks a little bit I could push them up just a little farther, but then they even sit closer. So I have to bring them down just slightly so they're not laying on my cheeks. But anyway, that is Bulgari. This hat is from Sun and Sand and it has a 50 uh, plus protection for you outside. So you will be protecting your scalp and your hair from the sun, which is very important. If we pay all that money for uh, our color jobs, why would we allow the sun just to ruin it? I mean, I know for me, my blonde hair that is usually like a nice honey golden color turns pure white in the sun if I don't protect it. So this hat was from, at Marshall's and I paid a whopping, I think $14 for this hat. Let me see. I paid a whopping $14.99 for this hat. Now, unfortunately, the things from Marshalls, I won't be able to link for you because it's hit or miss, but I did find the Sun and Sand online and you can go to their site and the hats probably cost about $8 more than you would at a Marshalls. But if you're really somebody who's interested in it, this is the perfect hat. Now this hat in the back, it's flat. So I like these because you can actually wear these and read with them. Uh, also, this is the type of hat that I would definitely wear while doing gardening because the sun protection is there. And I like that the brim is nice and wide. It's protecting my ears as well as my face and also my eyes. People don't think about their eyes for the summer, but it's very, very important. So let's talk about <laughs> these sunglasses. Now these sunglasses are very inexpensive and I purchased these from Target. Target has some really great sunglasses and they are 100%. So they will protect my eyes 100%. I need sunglasses for when I'm wearing my 
contacts because, of course, you can't wear your prescription sunglasses, which I did bring up here to share with you also. So this uh, is just a nice pair that I found at, T at Target. And I also uh, bought this frame. It's like a leopard print or a tiger print. So I have these in two different um, patterns and I love them. They're really nice. So let's move on to a different pair. Now this pair is from Tory Burke. This is my only pair of aviators. And uh, these are the Tory Burks that have the leather uh, arms and a little bit of leather on the top. Now these are hard to find, but they can be found. And I think Devic just posted that she found a pair at her TJ Maxx, uh, the leather. I think it was Devic. Uh, but anyway, this is my aviators by Tory Burch. And I think they're just beautiful. I wear these a lot when my hair is pulled back because I think the arms are really pretty being leather. I'm not a huge aviator. I have a hard time fitting them to my face, but the Tory Burch aviator does fit my face better. So if you're someone that always wants your Ray-Bans aviators and you just it just doesn't happen for you, try the Tory Burch. And again, I did find a version of these, so they will be linked below for you. Again, 100% protection for the eye. And I've had these for a very, oh, I have the receipt here. Let's see when I bought these. These uh, were purchased uh, in 2014. So I've had them for a while. It's 2019 now. I take care of my sunglasses. I keep them all in their cases and I never put them on the top of my head because that stretches them. Okay, so another pair that I've had for a very long time is by Roberto Cavalli. And these, I think you probably have seen on me an Instagram post. But again, just really big sunglasses to protect the eyes. And they do look good with the hat, even if you put the brim up and you do the J-Lo swag. Okay, uh, I wear these hats like this. They're rounded. It shows my age, I'm sure. But anyway, these sunglasses are very comfortable. They fit my face well. They don't lay on my cheeks at all. They are very large, so you get more eye protection that way. And again, I've had these glasses I for will link these. I did find a pair very similar because I've had these even longer than the Tory Burch. All right, so I bought these, the Nordstrom sale last year, and they are from Prada. And I thought they were really nice because the inside of them is pink and the outside is a tortoise, but they have a mirror lens on them and they also really protect the eyes and that's how they would look with your hat. I'm going to show you the other hats also. I have more hats. But uh, yeah, so these sunglasses are very comfortable again on the face. Don't lay on my cheeks. Really cover the whole eye area, which is important. That doesn't mean go without your sunscreen when you're outside in the sun. Your sunglasses aren't going to do it for you, nor is your hat. You still have to have your sunscreen on. All right, but it is nice to know that you're double protected with your sunscreen, your sunglasses, and your sunscreen hat. Okay, and I, I just bought these last year, and they're very, I found these online for you, so you can uh, go take a look at those. And then I have a pair of Tom Ford. I do have other sunglasses, but I have them in Florida now. I bought these at the sale. These are the Tom Ford Irina. I did find them for you online, but I adore these. These are fabulous sunglasses, just fabulous. And they look great with everything. The color of them is beautiful. The fit of them is gorgeous. Again, totally protects the eye area and 100% the lens. I think eye health is very important. Everybody always talks about protecting their skin, you know, and wearing hats and this and that, but nobody ever talks about protecting their eyes. You have to protect your eyes from the sun also. Okay, so this hat I got at Marshalls and it was $14.99 and this one is a nine west. Now this one does not have sun protection, but it's still better than just leaving your hair exposed or your scalp exposed to the sun. So again, this one has no back. So it does not lay nicely. If you're reading a book, you can lay down with it because it doesn't have the wide brim all the way around, which I think is really nice. You can also flip the brim on this if you would like and give yourself a whole different look. But again, the granny and me insist on wearing it like this. But again, looks great with your sunglasses, a nice pair of Sheila Fajal hoops or anybody's hoops. And you have yourself a nice smart look, especially if you're wearing like a sundress which I might have a few of those coming for you. All right. So again, I love this hat and I love the white. I do love white. I absolutely love it. And with a white, I mean, just to have yourself bronzed with your 
Scott Barnes bling all over your shoulders. Oh, it would just look fabulous. Now you can pull the hat down or you can also bring it back a little bit. And then when you put your shades on, you get a little bit more of your sunglasses, but I do like it pulled down all the way. I don't want anything exposed. Okay, so there we have our Gilligan look, if you'd like to wear it this way. <laughs> all right, so, okay, so I wanted to share a couple more pair of sunglasses. These came in the Fit Fun Fab or Fit Fad Fun, I don't remember how it goes, box, the spring one. And these are by Quay Australia. And Quay Australia, a lot of people wear, they're affordable. And I thought these were cute, so with black and white, I would wear these, and again, they do protect. This has more of a cat eye look to them, which I can wear, and they fit nicely underneath the hat. It's just another yep. pair, and these are Quay Australia. When I was in Florida, I stopped in Dillard's, and I saw the Quay Australia Jaclyn Hill collection, and uh, it was nice. There was a lot of them. I didn't know which ones to pick, and then there's also uh, the J-Lo and... Uh, a rod collection, but I didn't really care for many of those. But anyway, um, Quay Australia, affordable, really chic, nice, fun, funky sunglasses. All right. And then this next pair I bought because I was in Florida and I saw this woman, she was an older woman and she had these on and I said, Oh my God, she looks really fabulous. She just looked really great. And I thought, I really looked at her. I didn't want to stop her. She was heading out and I didn't want to stop her. Normally I would stop somebody and just say, excuse me, what, what brand is that? And I looked and looked and I found them. And I think I got these. These were either Nordstrom or maybe even Saks, but they'll be linked below for you. And these are from Diff. Now this brand is a charitable eyewear company. It says, let's make a difference. And it says, for every pair of diff shades so, sold, we donate one pair of glasses to a person in need. And I think that's really great. So they come in their own nice little case. And these might be a little wild and funky for some of you, but you know, sometimes we just have to, I'm not a trendy person, but every now and then one strikes me and I think, okay, if that's not outrageously priced, I'll go ahead and buy that because I may not wear these next year. And these I thought were affordable. I think they were in the, how much were these? These were $85 and I thought that was okay considering some of my other sunglasses were $400. So these have a mirror on them, which the lights are gonna show into, but they're kind of a um, creamy pinky tortoise shell. So they have some brown in them and then like a little hint of pink. And then they have a mirrored lens that's a little bit of a rose gold. Let me take these arms off, sleeves, and show you these. I just thought she looked fabulous in these. So I said, I'm getting them. They're a little big for me, but I truly don't care because underneath this hat, everything's good. And I just thought they were really, really cute. That's what they look like in the back. You'll get a better look at the frame if I do it that way. And here's a bonus to them. You know, if you have a friend with you and she's not sure what her lipstick looks like, she can just say, let me your eyes for a minute. And she can check her lipstick out. <laughs> So I picked those up and I really like them. So while I was in Marshalls, I saw these and they were $12.99 and they are 100% UV protection. And I thought, now these are really nice sunglasses. So you can also find very affordable sunglasses in Marshalls and these are by Tahari and I just love them. They fit really well. They're nice and big. I love big sunglasses <laughs> as if you couldn't tell. I wish I could get my prescription glasses this big but they would be astronomical in price and I just think that prescription strength frames and lenses are out of control as it is. So that is a really nice pair of sunglasses from Tahari for $14.99. I absolutely love them. They're, they're beautiful. The pattern on them is gorgeous. I don't know if it'll pick up, but it's really, they're really pretty. And you just have to really check them when they're at Marshalls because some people are just so rude and they're so rough on things. Make sure the lenses aren't scratched or anything like that. They were no just put these out. And that's another thing. Go back to your Marshalls and your TJ Maxx on a regular basis because you really will find things. All right, so I'm gonna try one more hat on for you that I've had for a very long time. 
All right, so this is another sun hat I have. Now this one I like if I have a sundress on and I need to be, like we're, we're going to some outdoor event that's you know smart, casual, and I don't wanna be standing in the blazing sun all day. I thought this was really nice because it's not too big. It's just a nice shape hat. It's straw. The brim turns up all by itself, all the way around. It goes all the way around. So this is not a hat that I will wear uh, if I'm sitting outside to read because sometimes I like to lean my head back and this would get in the way. But I thought this was just a nice basic hat and this is another hat that I think I found at TJ Maxx a couple years back So always check and now is the time to go in and check for these things. So this is just a very um, inexpensive brimmed hat and it's held up wonderful. The brand of this one is Capelli I don't know if that's a good brand or not, but it really it fits my head well. It's uh, it's really it's made it's good quality. It's nice, and you could always take a scarf and put it around it if you wanted to dress it up. You know, a really thin scarf could go around there. Jazz it up with your sunglasses. A nice beautiful pair of earrings dangling. Of course, of course, because it's freezing outside today. I have a winter sweater on with this look. I wanted to come to you, you know, with summer look and everything, but it's very cold. So now I wanted to share my prescription sunglasses with you and I do have a pair of these I left in Florida they are a black version of my Tom Ford they are to hunt boards and they're black. So this is a really old pair of mine. And when I get a new prescription, I don't necessarily always pick out a brand new frame, especially if it's for sunglasses. So these have probably been with me for years and I think they've changed the lenses on them a couple times for me, which is quite possible to do. And these are by Christian Dior. And they're just, they're, uh, I have really dark lens put in them because I, ha I do have macular age degeneration and I have to protect my eyes. Um, but these are, I have the, the frames tinted in dark brown because I thought it went better with this actual frame. So I just put these on. These I read with. These I can see people with. These are my prescription sunglasses. Again, I have them done very dark so that they protect my eyes. And uh, again, that's just a little tip there. You don't necessarily have to get brand new frames. You can just go and have the lenses changed in them. Now this time when my prescription changed, I had these put into my new one. And then I, like I said, I have a pair of Tom Ford that are very similar. They're a little bit bigger uh, in black so that I have black prescription that goes with certain things. And then I got these. Now I kind of regret getting these, but I wanted to share them because they're fun and they're funky. And, um, you know, they fit my face and everything, but they're just a little different for me and a little, I'm, I'm very conservative in my personality is not, <laughs> but uh, my dress and things I like, whatever, we'll just show you the sunglasses. Okay. So these are by, I think they're called Chinza or Cinzia. And if you look at them, they have, a uh, Swarovski crystals on the top and they have a little bit of a cat eye shape and uh, but they were ridiculous in price but I did find the frame online for you and um, you can you know go look at it but these were nice they fit my nose the bridge of my nose really well and they come up to where I like you know they don't cut off my eyes or anything like that they don't lay on my cheeks um, but anyway this is uh, another pair of prescription sunglasses that I own I have to take them off now and these are what are these they have a multitude of color in them, but the stones, the stones are almost like a, um, a taupey burgundy. And then the frame is, it's a tortoise with a little bit of black in there. So that's what they look like. So those are my prescription sunglasses. Okay, so let's talk about protecting our hair. There are many products on the market now that you can use to protect your hair. But I was in the hair store the, uh, yesterday and noticed that uh, Joico has a new Defy Damage See It, Feel It, Believe It line. And it's called the Joy of Healthy Hair. And this shampoo and conditioner, it's a whole system actually that they have. The girl gave me a sample of it. You won't be able to find these anywhere. The professional stores will give you samples if they got them. But you get the shampoo, the conditioner, the mask, and the leave-in. So I'm going to actually try these and give you a review view on them. And it says protect hair from the ravaging effects of the daily heat styling, UV exposure, and environmental 
pollution that leads to dry, dull, lackluster locks and Joico's new Defy Damage Hair Care System. So um, there are, I know Redken has a, a Sunline. Uh, lots of them are coming out with shampoos and conditioners and leave-in treatments that are now UV protectors. You want to make sure that you're protecting your investments and your hair is an investment. So think about looking for, whether it's high-end, mid-range, or in the drugstore, look for products that have UV protecting ingredients in them. All right, so now we're going to talk about sunscreens that I use. I usually lean towards a mineral, especially for my face. And I have two that I use all the time and one that I'm going to try because I've heard a lot of, I, well, I haven't heard, I read a lot about it. And I also have products that I use for my body. Now, yes, I do get the banana boats that spray when you're just sitting outside. Uh, but on a daily basis, I use Super Goop. They have a uh, body one that I love because it's not greasy. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm getting dressed to go someplace, it's a Super Goop that goes on me. If I'm just outside around the pool, I will spray the banana boats and stuff because I'm not the type of person that can lay in the sun for hours. I mean, I may sit out there to get a little dose of vitamin C, D. And your sunscreen but should be applied before you even get outside. So keep that in mind. But for the face, the one that I have used for years that works for me. Now, I have problems with sunscreens breaking me out and irritating my skin. I've tried uh, a lot of the drugstore ones uh, for the face. I don't seem to do very well with any of them. So I do use the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum 46. This is the one I have used for years and I probably will continue to use. It just works for me and it's a mineral sunscreen. Okay, uh, so uh, the other one that I um, have been trying and doing okay with, surprise, is Color Science. It's their Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield of 50. I do like this one and so far it has not broken me out. Now this one I'm not sure if it's going to break me out but like I said I've been reading articles about it and I'm not sure how to pronounce it but I'm going to call it Cots or Coats. And this and is the Flawless Complexion Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. Like I said I'm not sure how to say that name but I'm gonna give it a try. So, All right, so in the comments, let me know what you do to protect your hair and eyes in the summer. I think everybody pretty much has a hat. And don't forget the ball cap. When I walk the girls, I wear a ball cap and uh, I'll put a leave-in conditioner with sun protection on my ponytail because I can't get all my hair up in a hat. So I have to, uh, you know, I have to think about my ponytail. I can't leave her out there. <laughs> all right, my friends, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you are aware of all my videos. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.